76 centimeters. 76! Oh, uh, hi. You're here for the video? Yeah. Uh, I'll show it to you. One sec. Yeah, here it is. Uh, uh, here you go. Ever since mankind has had the capacity of thought, we have pondered the outer limits of understanding. From the method for domestication of maize, to the mapping out of the celestial bodies over our heads, to the peculiar behavior of matter at the smallest scales, we have been gathering and passing down knowledge for generations. And now, I will join the pantheon of great minds who built the knowledge base we take for granted today, as I share with you all what I have so miraculously unveiled from the waters of ignorance surrounding the ever-expanding island of science. May this video act like a small volcano that will spew forth lava able to assist in the expansion of what we call truth. What is this information I have extracted? That's a good question. I did this experiment because I was the perfect level of bored and curious that is conducive to doing such things as this. I wanted to find out if listening to music while gaming is either good or bad for your performance. I had heard from others that listening to calming music like classical can help you when playing games like League or Dota, since it can keep you from raging as much, and it can even help you concentrate, sort of like how listening to it while studying helps some people too. But I've also heard how listening to fast, energetic music can hurt your performance, since it can cause you to make more mistakes. The theory goes that it's so distracting that some of your mental faculties are just used up listening instead of playing the game. There's actually a study which suggests that this might be the case, at least while driving. Interestingly, when drivers picked their own music, they make more mistakes and are more distracted. But when the music is chosen that is supposed to boost concentration, the drivers did slightly better. So in the experiment I conducted, I picked my own music because I wanted to test once and for all if fast, energetic music hurts your performance like I have heard. Science alert! Whenever an experiment has a sample size of just one, take it with a big grain of salt. In the experiment, I was the only one who did the gaming, both with and without music, so you can't make sweeping conclusions about the results. Methodology! Okay, probably not gonna do that again. I knew they had to be games where the sound doesn't matter, since the music will completely drown out the game's sound. Games like Counter-Strike or Fortnite were way out, since playing those games on mute is like playing them with 57 fingers. It's a lot worse than it sounds. They also have to be very controllable and repeatable environments, so all online games were out too, since you never know if one game you're gonna get a pro on the other team, or a noob who will somehow beat you anyway. I settled on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's The Pit time trial and a single Forza 4 lap on this specific track with no enemy cars, using this exact car each time with the same settings each time, which included assisted braking since I kind of suck at racing games. I was also going to do a Batman Arkham Asylum fight challenge, but I was already doing a ton of work for this video and nearly doubling it didn't really sound like fun. As for the music, I stuck with songs that I had listened to before and that I personally like. I also picked stuff that was relatively upbeat and of a similar tempo, as well as not being completely vocally driven, so no ballads and no depressing songs. I also decided to stick to just one genre, metal. Do you plead? I didn't want to risk messing up anything by changing up the genres at any point. I listened to a new song every other trial per game, but repeated the cycle of songs after 32 because I honestly got tired of picking out songs. 32's enough. If you were to run this experiment on your own, it shouldn't matter what genre the songs are, just make sure they fit all the criteria of these. I ran each game, Modern Warfare 2's Pit and Forza's Lap, eight times each around noon and eight times again at night for eight days. That's a total of 256 trials. I stood in the same spot each time, and when I was listening to music, it was always at the same volume in my earbuds. I alternated playing with music and without, while also alternating other boring factors like which game I played first, if I played with the song first or not, lots of stuff to help cancel out any variables. If you care about that, 
Just look at the data in the file in the description. You can even check my math if you want. But what kind of person would want to do that? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Who likes math? <laughs> so after 256 trials, 128 for each game, half while playing a song and half without, what are the results? For the Modern Warfare 2 pit runs, I averaged 28.67 seconds while not playing a song and 30.40 seconds while listening to a song. Trials without music had a median time of 27.85 seconds. Those with music had a median of 28.70 seconds. The standard deviation was 2.57 seconds and 4.78 seconds, respectively. For the number of civilians I accidentally killed, Yes, accidentally. While listening to a song, I shot a total of 46, so an average of 0.719 per run, and without music, I shot 38 total, so an average of 0.594. Interestingly, I shot zero civilians 32 out of the 64 runs for both with and without music. It's just that when I did shoot civilians, it happened to be more when I was listening to music. So what does this mean? At least for this specific gaming task, listening to the music caused me to play considerably worse, and the time differences were mostly due to making more and costlier mistakes. I played much more inconsistently while listening to music, since my highest and lowest times were both with music. The data for the Forza Lap trials are as follows. With no music, I averaged 45.714 seconds. With music, 45.559 seconds. Median time was 45.450 with no music, 45.426 with music. Standard deviation of 0.912 seconds and 0.765 seconds. So here, the effects of listening to music seem reversed, as I did better with music this time around, though the impact was much more minute. This would suggest that listening to energetic music while playing cognitively and manually challenging games like fast-paced shooters is detrimental to your success, while listening to energetic music while playing more casual, simpler games offers little to no negative effect, and it may even help a little. The next part of this video will be absolutely swarming with my subjective experiences while conducting this experiment on myself. Unlike the super objective infallible data which I have previously been communicating, I think I have an explanation for why energetic music only negatively impacted my performance in Call of Duty. While playing MW2, I felt like the music was making me want to do everything twice as fast. It made me feel like I wasn't going fast enough, so I played more aggressive and ended up making more mistakes, as I would either miss my shots or just not notice every target every time. But when playing Forza, the gameplay was much simpler, since I really only had to steer and occasionally brake. It was all about fine movements that would maximize my lap time. The music gave me something else to focus on as well, since not much exciting, fast-paced action was going on on screen. And because of this, it actually seemed to help me focus a little more. I found I wasn't wandering off in my thoughts as much. So does listening to energetic music hurt your performance? At least for me, it depends on the game. For fast and challenging games, you will definitely see a decline in your performance while listening to that kind of music. But with simpler, easier games, you will not see such a dive in your abilities. All in all, does this experiment really matter? Does the data I created and the thorough scientific testing methods I used to get them contribute anything of significance to humanity? You decide. Ugh, okay fine. I just wasted two weeks of my life doing this stupid experiment that no one asked for. Cause who the crap cares if energetic music makes you play worse in competitive games? If you're listening to that kind of music while playing those games, you probably don't even care how well you're doing anyway. But on the bright side, at least we know for sure that we were right about playing with fast and aggressive music. And I guess the result that it doesn't affect more calm and casual games is a little interesting. You know what? I'm glad I did this experiment. And I won't let you haters tell me otherwise. I did a science, and I'm not about to apologize for being the next Sir Isaac Newton, okay? You all just don't get my vision. The effects of listening to energetic music while playing video games is completely a legitimate area of inquiry for intense, scientifically rigorous, controlled experiments. <coughs> and all of those who are with me, 
Uh, hit that subscribe button, I guess. Oh. Hmm.